welcome to Read Me a Story. Today I have a special book. It's about winter and what some of the animals do during that season. So today we'll start off by looking at our board. And I have four letters on our board. One, two, three, four. Four letters. Does anyone know what letters they are? B, E, a, and R, and they spell the word bear. And that is one of the main characters in our book today. And our story is called A Time to Sleep. This is Bear. Bear sniffed once, and Bear sniffed twice. Winter is in the air, she said. Hmm, time for me to crawl into my cave and sleep. But before I do that, I must go tell my friend Snail. So off Bear went. Come big bear is, and tiny little snail bear. Snail was slithering slowly up one leaf and down another leaf. Bear said. Snail, winter is in the air. It's time for you to seal your shell and fall fast asleep. Little snail, she stopped slithering and she looked at Bear with great big nose. Winter is in the air, she said. Hmm, there was frost on the grass this morning and it was definitely chilly. I guess it is time for me to go to sleep. But before I can do that, I need to go tell my friend Skunk. Scritch, scratch, scratch. Skunk was digging for grubs. Skunk, winter is in the air. It's time for you to curl up in your den and fall fast asleep. Skunk went all around with her big long tail. Skunk looked up and she saw the colors of the leaves had started to change. Some were red and yellow and orange. It definitely is a change in the air, she thought. And I do need to go to sleep, but before I can sleep, I need to go tell my friend Turtle. So Skunk went off looking for Turtle. Turtle was on a ramble. Stop, Turtle, stop, said Skunk. Winter is in the air. It is time for you to dig deep and go to sleep. Hmm, said Turtle. Winter is in the air. Hmm, he said. Yes, the days do seem to be getting somewhat shorter, said Turtle. And she looked around. I guess I do need to find a place to dig deep and go to sleep. But before I do that and get ready for winter, I must go off and tell my friend Woodchuck. So Turtle went all the way up, up, up Woodchuck's hill. Woodchuck, Woodchuck, cried Turtle. Winter is in the air. It is time for you to burrow down and sleep. Here's Woodchuck. Here's Woodchuck. Thank goodness, said Woodchuck. My skin is so tight, she said with a sigh of relief. I don't think I could eat another bite. Hmm, I am definitely ready to sleep. Before I can go to sleep, she said, I need to go and tell my friend Ladybug. So off went Woodchuck. She looked up in the tree, and sure enough, high up in the branches was little Ladybug. She was sitting on the branches among the red and yellow and orange leaves, just beautiful colors surrounding her. Woodchuck stood there looking at her. Ladybug, Ladybug, he called. And all of a sudden, along with the leaves, little Ladybug came down right over Woodchuck's head. What is it, she asked. Winter is in the air. It is time for you to find a log to slip under and sleep. 
Yes, said Ladybug, winter is in the air. But before I can go to sleep, she said, She said, I must go tell my friend Bear. So off she flew, looking for Bear. Bear was softly snoring in her cave. It was very quiet. All of a sudden, Ladybug cried, Bear, Bear, wake up, wake up, Bear. Winter is in the air. It is time for you to curl up in your cave and fall fast asleep. The geese in the air, they're honking as they say goodbye. Bear opened one eye, and then Bear opened her other. She rolled over, and she started to growl. What? asked Bear. Winter is in the air, said Ladybug. It's time for you to go to sleep. Ladybug, Ladybug, said Bear. I was fast asleep. Oh, no, said Ladybug. I am so sorry, Bear. I did not mean to wake you. But yes, please, please go back to sleep, she said. You notice tiny little ladybug, here she is, sitting on Bear's great big nose. Bear closed her eyes and fell fast asleep. And Ladybug, she went and crawled underneath the log where she also got ready for winter. The snowflakes started to come down. Good night, bug, said Bear. Good night, Bear. Good night, skunk. Good night, woodchuck. Good night, turtle. Good night, snail. Good night, good night to everyone. See you all in the spring. Good night, Bear. A wonderful book for the winter season. And when spring rolls around and it gets warmer, all the animals will be waking up and looking for a lot of food to eat. I thought we'd take our scarves today and we're going to scrunch them up. Scrunch them, scrunch them, scrunch them. And this little um, poem, little rhyme, is about Jack in the Box. Ready? Jack in the Box sits all so still. Will he come out? Ready, Toss? Yes. He will. Let's try it again. So scrunch up a scarf. If you don't have a scarf, you can use a blanket, a small towel, or even a little soft uh, stuffed animal works too. But ready? Jack in the box sits all so still. Will he come out? Ready to toss? Yes, he will. Good job. Let's scrunch it again. Scrunch him again. And how about our popcorn kernels? Ready? Popcorn kernels, popcorn kernels, in the pot, in the pot. Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, till they pop, till they pop. And one more little line with our scarves. Let's see, we're going to do some counting today. So we're going to scrunch them up again. And this time when we reach five, five, like our five fingers, one, two, three. Three, four, and five. We're going to toss it up high in the sky. Ready? Help me count. One, two, three, four, and five. Excellent. Good job. Good job. Our scarves down, off to the side. Let's clap our hands together. Let's clap our hands together. Let's clap our hands together because it's fun. Let's roll our hands together. Let's roll our hands together. Let's roll our hands together because it's fun to do. Can we nod our heads? Ready? Let's nod our heads together. Let's nod our heads together. Let's nod our heads together because it's fun to do. What else? Can we tap our knees? Can we tap our knees? Right? Let's tap our knees together. Let's tap our knees together. Let's tap our knees together because it's fun to do. Good job. Very good. How about we have our thumbs up? Ready? Tommy thumbs up. We did this a couple times. 
And I think this is probably a familiar one for you now. So our thumbs are up. Ready? And the opposite up is down. Tommy thumbs up. Tommy thumbs down. Tommy thumbs dances all around. Dancing on our shoulders. Dancing on our head. Dancing on our knees. Now cover him up. All of a sudden, the alarm, bring, bring, Tommy thumbs up, Tommy thumbs down, Tommy thumbs dances all around. Dancing on your shoulders, dancing on your head, dancing on your knees, there he is. Now cover him up and put him in. Good job. Okay, how about, let's wind the bob. Remember we've done this one before too. Ready? Wind the bobbin up, wind the bobbin up, pull, pull, clap, clap, clap. Wind it back again, wind it back again, pull, pull, clap, clap, clap. Point to the ceiling and point to the floor, point to the window and point to the door. Let's clap our hands together. One, two, three. Place our hands upon our knees. Well, thank you for joining me today, and I hope to see you again soon for another story. Take care. Bye.